back again. Are you here to stay on top of your game? Cause there's no time to waste. Hello to the people in the interwebs. Hello, plummies. Welcome on in to a brand new LP on my YouTube channel. Hope you are all doing amazing. In today's video, I am starting a new Let's Play in The Sims 3. My Sims 4 Emotions Legacy Challenge is obviously going to be continuing alongside this because I want to bring some Sims 3 into my channel and it's going to be great. So we're doing The Sims 3 Showtime. In case you guys don't know what Showtime is, one of the expansion packs that came with The Sims 3, and it focuses on show business. It focuses on having your Sims being able to go out there and do careers that make their, I guess, th that enhance them in ways that are, that make them natural born performers. Um, so yeah, it's like a show business pack. Um, and it's really, really fun. So, I have created three sims that we will be exploring this expansion pack with. And I guess they are roommates. They're just thrown together and they're going to be, um, I guess, yeah, roommating with each other um, throughout this expansion pack. And on this expansion pack, this Let's Play won't end until the three original sims all complete their aspirations because that's just how it's going to be. I want them all to complete their aspirations and it won't end until that happens. So who knows how many parts there will be. Um, but it should be fun. So meet the first sim. This is Estrella Star. She is my singer. She's going to be in the singing career and she's going to do all that. Um, she is, her traits are, ab okay, so <laughs> with the traits, I kind of wanted to do traits that are opposite to what would be like, not opposite, like there are some traits that do make sense for, you know, their professions and stuff. So the traits are based around their professions, but also there are a couple of traits that would kind of go against that. Like for example, because she's a singer, she would have to have good memory to remember all of her lyrics, right? Well, she's absent-minded. <laughs> she's absent-minded, which I think would be really fun if she stumbles on stage and forgets. But she's also ambitious, she's irresistible, she's a natural-born performer, and she is a virtuoso. Natural-born performer is a new trait. Natural born performer sims are most comfortable on stage and never happier than when they are in front of an audience. So she wants to be the vocal legend, which is reach level 10 of the singer career. Everyone dreams of being the next idol, of being worshipped by millions of sims across the world. But can you work through the years of stress and obscurity to reach the heights of superstardom? We can try. We can only try. So her favorite color is pink. Her favorite music is custom music. I think that she would kind of like to do any genre, really. She doesn't really have a set genre. Um, I mean, probably pop is her main, I would say. And her favorite food is tri-tip steak. And she is a cancer. Um, so yeah, that is the first sim. Um, now to move on to the second sim. Or and look at the meaning, by the way, of these names. But the last name is Gymnastics, taking away the gym, Nastics. I was going to put Tilly Nastic, but I just went with Tilly Nastics. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> I, okay, then. Um, she's our acrobat. And she's okay. But she's also got something going on for her here. She's ambitious. She's athletic, which will help out a lot. She's clumsy. 
she will stuff up on stage. I don't know, but I want these Sims to prove to the world that just because you can be absent-minded, you can still be a singer. Just because you're clumsy, you can still be an acrobat, you know, and then so on, et cetera. But she's also a daredevil and diva, which, I mean, she would have to be to, you know, perform such crazy stuff. And yeah, she has the Master Acrobat Aspiration, which has reached level 10 of the acrobat career. Many youngsters will fall in love with tumbling and jump headfirst into acrobatics, hoping that their leap of faith will end in sold out performances with crowds of adoring fans. It will take years of stretching, bending, and treating burns, but great strength of body and perseverance will eventually lead a sim to the title of Master Acrobat. And her favorite color is pink. Look, I love the color pink, okay? Don't come for me. I love the color pink, okay? So, don't start with me, okay? My girls are wearing pink. But, you know, their appearances have probably changed throughout the series, I'd imagine. Her favorite music is R&B, and her favorite food is grilled salmon. And she is an Aries. Our final main character of this series is our male lead. I wanted to have, I was very close to actually doing all girls because I like, you know, I do like an all girl household because I am a girl girl and I do prefer playing with female sims more. But I thought that it would be nice to have some male representation for any male viewers or just, you know, just with people that would want, you know, a male in the household. So I did make Soul. one. And I actually love him. <laughs> he might be my favorite. I don't know. We'll see. But I, there's something about him that's giving me, like, very, um, very fun vibes. I don't know. I think it's going to be a character. But this is Cash Thorn, and he is a magician. And I don't know. He's got this very, like, he's got a dark, mysterious vibe going for him. Um, a majority of the clothes that I put on The Sims are from Showtime, by the way. I just thought I'd mention that. So, straight off the bat, he's a coward. That's his fallback. As you can see, all The Sims have their fallbacks. So, he's a coward. He's a magician, but he's a coward. Like, okay. But he's easily impressed. He's excitable. He has a good sense of humor. And he is inappropriate because it makes sense for magicians to be inappropriate because usually they are just, they have a mind of their own, really. And they're kind of out there. They're outspoken and they like have no limits, basically. I was actually very close to making him insane, but I didn't. <laughs> um, and he has the Master Magician, reached level 10 of the magician career. The world of magic and illusion seems exotic and mysterious to most sims. To make it as a magician, your sim must master tricks ranging from making small objects appear to escaping complicated death traps. It will be dangerous, but success will surely lead to fame and glory as a world-renowned illusionist. His favorite color is black. His favorite music is soul music. His favorite food is cheese steak, and he's got a very sexy voice. Oh, Bratzel. Wait. Let again na vida sichi. There we go. That's what I heard. Let again na vida shishi. That's... Okay, that was terrible. And he's a Leo. So, yeah. But yeah, that's the first hair. It's kind of giving Katy Perry from back in the day. It's the best hair I think this expansion pack came with. This hairstyle is... Um... When you put too much, I think it's like, it kind of is a perm gone wrong, but also when you put too much hairspray in your hair and you just like, you've blow dried it and it's just not working out, girl. And you've slicked it back. It's just not here for it, honestly. This, I mean, this is not too bad, but this looks like a wig, a wig. You know what this is? A wig. She's tied her hair up into a bun. And the bun is sticking out, and it looks like the hair is pregnant. That's what it looks like. This, not this one. This looks like I don't. I don't understand this. If the fringe was like flat, this would have been way more cuter. 
This, though, I... I don't, I mean, this would be kind of cute for performances. I'm not gonna lie. But in everyday use, like... What's living in there? Like, it's like a bird's nest there. Like, what the hell? But this side ponytail, I mean, it's not ugly. It's, it's, it's alright. It's not the best, but, you know... What is, right? Alrighty. And let's check hair that came with accessories. Because that also is a thing. So you have these hats with the base game hairs and all that stuff. These hats just are base game hairs. And I think your um, singers use this to perform singograms and stuff like that. It's not, like, the best thing ever. And then these hats are for your magicians, your female magicians. They use this when they perform. Um, so yeah, not really a big... And then there's like a big hat, which gives me Willy Wonka. It's giving me Willy Wonka vibes, but also Alice in Wonderland, the Mad Hatter. I think that would be really cute to do like a theme like that. Um, here is the genie hair. So, Genies came with this pack, which is actually really nice. I don't hate this hair. I don't hate it. I think it actually looks quite nice. It reminds me of I Dream of Genie. <laughs> this hairstyle is for your acrobats, which is just like these space buns, which is actually quite cute. It might use these in the future. We'll see. I don't understand how this has anything to do with the pack. I don't know where this came from. This space alien sci-fi hat like what what is this yoing, 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 yoing. and then you've got bunny i'm a bunny duh i think this um actually comes with a full-on piece so that's lovely um there was no no new makeup implemented at all so we move on to some everyday bits it's the first one, which is actually not too bad. I could see my adult wearing this, but I probably would not use this too much. I don't know. We'll see. Or like my boho sims maybe, but yeah, it's not like too bad. It's just a bit meh. This I love. This is my favorite top in the pack. This is what she is wearing, um, and I, I love it. I just, I had to, had to go ahead and throw it on. So, yeah, it comes with different colors. Obviously, you can recolor to whatever you want. This top is what Tilly is wearing, which is my second favorite, I would say. I like it because the sides are sheer. It's cute. This is like a business top. You know, your proprietors would wear this, but also I can see like a businesswoman or like a high-class celebrity wearing this, or like a lawyer. These are cute, like, you know, tees that you can wear to bed or just, you know, these, like, graphic, graphical tees. It's, like, cute. I think this goes with, like, the DJ. I'm pretty sure DJ. I like this one. This is a cute pattern. It's cool. I like it. And then you just have your drama shirt. Now to go all the way back. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we made it. We did it. Um, okay, Showtime did not come with much pants at all, to be honest. Just like these leather pants, which are still cute. Um, these, I don't, I mean, these kind of give me like workout pants, like gym mom pants, so... That's that. Um, I think where they really shined was the um, everyday full body outfits. This is for your genie. So this is the full piece outfit for genies, which is kind of sexy. I can kind of sense Princess Jasmine. One of these dresses, which actually is quite cute. I think it's glitching with the um, the shoes that I got there, my custom content shoes. But it actually is quite cute. I could see myself using this for like a mermaid. This dress is stunning. Stunning. I love it. It's very pretty. I, I used to use that all the time on my Sims. And I think Tilly's wearing this one for every, not every day, her formal. But once again, 
gorgeous. Um, this is giving, like, I would use this for my adults or elders that are rich. So, it, who knows? Maybe one of them will wear this when they become an adult or an elder. This, I use these for my girly girls or my teens that are going to prom. It's so cute. Love it. It's adorable. Um, I don't know what this really is, but I think when you recolor it, it would look really nice. And I love this. I feel like I'd wear it in this vacation to China. Oh, 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 oh. Did not mean to do that. Sorry about that. Um, and this is like a cutout, um, full body type of, I don't know, long shirt. I don't really know what this is, but I mean, it's cute. It's kind of edgy. I feel like I put on an edgy. This, like, summertime, like, maxi dress, which, I mean, hey, it is starting to get really hot, and it is summertime. Well, close to being summertime where I am. It's 34 degrees today. Okay, now, this is giving edgy. I love this. This is really cute. That is edgy. And that is... Oh, my God, this bodysuit. Oh, <gasps> Oh my god, this is giving Catwoman. Oh my god. And look at this. I love these two. Um, I actually would want a pair of these in my real life. So if I could just snatch this up, that would be really, really cute. Um, This is really cute too. Honestly, Showtime kind of has a lot of cute stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and there's the bunny suit. Hey, bunny suit. And shoes, well, there's actually five pairs of shoes. This, these shoes, which I think your magicians can wear, but anyone can really wear, but it goes with the magician outfit. I mean, it's not the ugliest. It's not too bad. I've seen worse. These are just like some summer sandals, some chained heels, which I wish they were a bit, like the heel was a bit bigger and maybe a bit thicker, but whatever. Um, your singers use these boots for singer grams, and then you just got these joggers, so, yeah, I don't know if any accessories came with the pack, but we can check, um, I love how I'm doing this demo, like, you know, you guys haven't seen this pack before in your lives, but in reality, everyone knows, all these hooped earrings, I actually kind of want to give her these hooped earrings, I didn't know that these... I didn't check the accessories, like, to see if there were any new earrings. Wow, imagine. These are cute, too. Oh, these are really cute. Oh, my God. Which one am I going to give her? That's cute, but probably... Oh, my God, that's actually really cute. Oh, my God. Okay. And then these, 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 like, these necklaces. These pearl diamond necklaces. Very cute. I'm already giving her... Oh, Wait, I'm so dumb. These don't come with Showtime, do they? Oh, no, they do. What? I thought they came with Island Paradise for a second. I was going to be like, whoa. Island Paradise and the Showtime emblem look very similar, so I get confused sometimes. Um, and there's a little bangle, which is, which looks like that. And then there's just this one as well, which is two color toned. Some gloves. Gotta love some gloves. On to the men to see Wee. what they have. Now, the man's hairs are to die for. I freaking love the men's hairs. I feel like in general, generally speaking, the game does really good with men. Like this hair, this afro, but also braided hair too. Love it. It's ethnic. It's cute, and I just had to, he just fit. He just fit it really well, so he got that. This is giving me 2020, wait, no, wait, 2015 Harry Styles. Still cute, though. This is giving me Zac Efron. Still cute, though. And this is giving me Zayn Malik. Still cute, though. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, no new beards, no anything of that. Um, I don't know if there's any actually, like, tattoos. I haven't checked to see if they have any tattoos. Oh, my God, they do. Oh, wow. They do have tattoos. 
I think that I will get him a tattoo later on. I don't want to, like, you know, put him on him right now. But definitely when we Mayaka. get further into the Let's Play, I might consider doing um, some uh, tattoos. Now, men got quite a lot of stuff like this. This is giving, like, smart, casual daddy vibes. I use this for his formal wear. I like this moon crescent. Oh my god, this I love. This is really nice. One of my favorite things that have come with The Sims 3. The Sims, um, like the male version of the dress. Doesn't this remind you of Hunger Games at the back? That's totally where they got their inspiration from with the emblem. Oh. That is what he is wearing. Uh -huh. Which is my favorite. Oh. Hmm. This button up piece, which is also pretty cute too. I think these remind me for some reason of Harry Potter. Maybe it's the emblems, I'm not entirely sure. But it kind of gives me Harry Potter. This gives me um, fuckboy vibes with the glasses, but still cute. <laughs> and also, these, one of my favorite pieces as well. I don't know, I just, there's something about it. I might even, like, give this to him later on. The top, their famous top that um, people have used in their Showtime LPs, from what I know. Which is, on me. I mean, it's, I don't blame them. Like, it's pretty cool. These graphic tees, very cute. Some more graphic tees. And some drama tops. And these are the pants. As you can see, I just kind of want to just get into the game. I'm just too excited. <laughs> That's cute, actually. I like these. They, they're cute, especially in black. I could see myself wearing that, but just darken it a little bit. And the trackies Ooh. is what he is hmm. wearing. Oh, and there's like ripped pants. Noise. You guys are probably like, what is she doing? Why is she doing this? Like, there's no need. Listen. Um... We got some genie shoes, because men can be genies as well. Some boots, joggers, and the exact same shoes that he is already wearing. There's not much everyday fits for men for um, Showtime. There's the genie fit, which gives me Aladdin. I do like this. This is for DJs. I do like that. It's giving, like, into the future sort of sci-fi, like, you know, very, um, very, very sci-fi. This is nice, but it's kind of giving university. And then the bunny, <laughs> the bunny fit. Okay, gotta oh. go ahead and move Ooh. back. I showed you guys the shoes, accessories. Let's see accessories. Oh my god, it comes with pier- <gasps> Oh, I'm gonna give him black earrings. Yes. Or should I give him white? No, I'm gonna give him white. And he comes with the- Oh. Oh. Why did it- What the- Okay, weird. Comes with the watch too. But I don't know why it zoomed me there. It's kind of weird. Anyways, um, that is all the stuff that came with Showtime. Um- for the females and the males. Once we have a baby, we'll see what came with them um, later in the LP. But I'd say we go ahead and jump oh, into the game, shall we? Also, yes, I'm using a reshade. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, I'm going to call this the Showtime LP. Okay, so the Sims have just moved in. Oh, look how cute they all look. Oh, it's actually cute for my first Sims. Um, alrighty. So, I picked this house. Um, my Ed Scrolling was playing up on my EF. I really hate when it does that. But I picked this house primarily because this house is the only house that is actually good. That has a good length of, like, for three Sims. The other houses were not. This house has two bedrooms and also um, is the bedrooms are better. And I don't know. I just feel like it's just way more suited 
So I'm going to decorate this house and I will see you guys when I've finished decorating. Alrighty, so I decorated the house. Um, look, I didn't have enough simoleons to work with, really. Um, there's not really a lot going on with the house. Um, but it's the best that we're gonna get. I wanted to save at least a grand, um, for just, you know, bills and, you know, important necessities and stuff like that. So... Here is the living room. I went with like a um, leopard print because, you know, we're dealing with showtime. We're going to still be classy even if we're like poor. Still going to have classiness. We'll get more classy as we go, you know, as we go along. But, you know, we're doing the best that we can. We're dealing with mittens here, guys. We're dealing with absolute mittens. I didn't do anything to the kitchen. I, I, I did not bother. Um, I need a, the next thing I get is a dining table or some high chairs because we don't have any of that. But the kitchen, you know, it's not, it's not too bad. Like, it's not the cutest, but it's not the ugliest. This is the girls' room. Um, they just have beds and a dresser here. Nothing too crazy, but I like it. I think it's cute. I think it showcases their personalities and, well, not really showcases their personalities, but, you know, it's just... I guess it showcases the colors and black because black is a posh. We love black. Bath and baquette the same. Don't need to change it right now. And then this is our magician's room. This is Cash's room. I went with a fiery type theme, like a fiery smoke because, you know, he disappears in a cloud of smoke because, you know, magicians. I don't know. I, I, I kind of like it. Um... So yeah, but I'm going to end this stream. Um, they're all making real faces. She's like thinking, are we really living here? He's just like, here we go again. And she is just thinking about all the men that she can seduce. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then we got these fugly neighbors here. Oh my God, they're scary. Let's not look at them. Anyways, um, I'm going to end the stream. Uh, stream. Oh, my God. Not stream. I'm going to end the um, YouTube video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any thoughts you have or any ideas that I should do for this Let's Play. And subscribe for more Sims 3 and Sims 4 content. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Love you guys.